Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Jordy's Beer Reviews. Today we are looking at... Echt Schlerkenla. Rosh beer. Let's see, I think I said that right. Acht Schlen... Schlenkerla. Rosh beer. All the way from Bamberg. Cheers to everybody from Bamberg. Thank you for your product. Thank you to the brewery as well. Bro, what did it say? Brewery Heller Bambok. Brewery is Heller Bambok. And I'm sure this um, translates to um, the, the perfect smoked beer in English. Or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's a smoked beer. It's been around for a good while. Since the 1800s, actually, I'm sure. It's, I'm sure it's from um, the late 1800s or something. Um, Schlenkerla, the historic smoked beer brewery. Okay. The Schlenkerla is situated in the UNESCO world, heritage city Bamberg in Bavaria, Germany. First mentioned as House of the Blue Lion in the year 1405. Damn. It has been the source of the classic smoked beer, Echt Schlenker La Roche beer, for centuries, following the most ancient brewing and malting traditions. Selected barley is, is malted at the brewery and, and kiln over a fire or beechwood logs. Oh, nice. The smoked malt, finest Bavarian hops and pure water are the only ingredients of this unique beer. Original Schlenker La Smoke Beer is a dark, bottom-fermented beer with an intense smoky aroma and flavour. As one of the last traditionally made smoke beers, it's Schlenker La Roche Beer is a, is a passenger in the arc of taste by Slow Food. Okay, so it's a meal beer the same. 5.1% alcohol. 500 ml bottle. Okay, let's get this guy open and in a glass, guys. Uh, bottle opener would be good. Get you not now. Enough. My dog keeps wanting to come in, guys. Come on in. Right. My dog's going to come in, but it's all right. Right. Echt Schreckla, Rush beer, smoked beer from Germany, Bamberg, in the city of Bavaria. Not much smoke there. Oh, I can smell that there. Wow. Wow. There's a bottle cap. I have had this beer before, yes. I have. I have had it before. Um, did I like it? Oh yeah, I did. I loved it. It was actually my friend that actually um, helped me to try it. Um, sorry, he got a bottle of it and says, you need to try this. You've never tried this before. So, no. And he was like, it's bacon beer. I'm like, what? Bacon beer? What the hell are you talking about? What do you mean bacon beer? Like, it smells with bacon and tastes with bacon. I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm interested in trying it then. And I tried it, I liked it. That was about three years ago, guys. So I haven't had this in a, 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 a long, long time. A long, long time. Shout out to my mate Ryan, by the way. Thank you for um, opening me up to this beer. I really appreciate it, mate. Thanks if you're watching and cheers to you. Right, I thought I would I would choose the tankard for this beer because yeah, all right. Thumbnail. Okay. Oh God, damn. Mmm. 
Oh, oh, this takes me back to when I had it the first time. And I thought it smelled amazing back then as well. Three finger with tanned head. That's not white. That's quite tan that's pretty tanned. That's not that's not purely white. As you can see it's quite it's quite it is quite tanned. Smoke smoked ham. I'm getting smoked ham, I'm getting kinda like um pork. I'm getting a kind of porky smell. Like, um, see the smell, okay. If you ever get a bag of um, pork scratchings and you open the bag and you go, it smells a bit like that. That's, that's what it's reminding me of here, pork, pork scratchings. When you open the bag of pork scratching, that's what it smells like. It does smell like that a good bit. Woody. Smoky, pork, meaty. Wow, that is really strong in the aroma, guys. That is just, that is the stinkiest beer ever. In a good way. Keep the ball cap. Righty, oh, let's get on with the tasty o. Schlenkerla Rasbier, acht. <coughs> cheers to everyone watching and thank you for watching and cheers to the people of Bamberg. I'm going to dive in. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching. God, that is amazing. <laughs> it tastes... It, it, it does taste bacony. It does taste bacony. Obviously, I don't think there's bacon in what made with the beer. But it gives off a bacony taste. I think it has to do with them. I don't know, but I, I'm not sure. But it, it tastes bacony. It tastes slightly beefy. Malty, rich. It's very light in the mouth as well. It's very light in the mouth. Very light in the mouth. <coughs> <clears throat> the aftertaste is where you get the smoke. Um, the smoke doesn't hit you first of all. Um, first of all, you get a kind of piney taste, and then. The aftertaste is where the smoke comes into play. That's an excellent brew. Wow. Wow. It's a meal beer. It's a beer you would savour. It's a beer you would savour. Like, if I had this in the pub with my mates, even if it was with my mates, I would be. You know. But it is, the drink value is high. It's just like, you want to save this because it's that nice of a taste. It does taste a bit bacony. It tastes beefy. It's, it's very malty. It's quite rich tasting. Quite piney. Woody. Um, slightly oak. Oaky. The smell is unreal. Smells like pork, as I said, the pork scratches kind of smells like that. Smells woody, smells fiery. Smells kind of like a bonfire actually as well. Sorry, I'm going back to the aroma just so I, just, just so I can, you know. It smells like a bonfire, like, it smells like a barbecue. Like, if you were to walk out in your garden and someone's doing a barbecue, 
and you get the, 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 the smell the smell of the smoke and the meat is hitting you. That's that. Smells like a barbecue. It really does smell like a barbecue. So bonfire barbecue, pork scratching the smell, taste, um smoky, smoky bacon, um beefy, malty, but smooth and light. Tastes quite light in the mouth. It really does taste white. Mm. Damn. Mm. Yeah, so when you go into this beer at first, when you first eat it, you go, okay, this tastes quite crisp and clean. And Oh, wait, what's that? You know, so that's what the beer is. It's the, all about the aftertaste in this one. Smoky. You definitely get that smoked taste. You definitely get that smoked taste. It's fire. <laughs> no, it's it's really it is really good beer, guys. It is a really good beer, and it's a nice looking beer as well, eh? The bottle, look at the bottle. It's pretty cool. If you guys want to see the back, there you go. If you want to take a wee screen cap or whatever, so you can read it. There you go. It's the front there. Act Schlinkra. Rush beer. The perfect smoked beer or something, it says, in, in England. In, 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 in English. Bamberg. Thank you. A very good beer. A thumbs up from Jordy. What do I rate it out of ten? I will rate this a. Hmm. What would get the what would what would get the number one spot? Like like Pap's Blue Ribbon? Will it? Hmm. I don't know. We we'll just have to see. It's a very unique beer. It's very unique. Okay. What's my score? My score is... Just putting the lid back in the bottle there. Because I like to... I'm going to keep... I'm going to... I'm going to get a wee shelf up there maybe. And start collecting all these beers. The ones that I really, really enjoy will be getting kept. Um, this guy, definitely. Keeping the bottle for that. Okay, what is my score out of 10? Well, I just done a Pat's Blue Ribbon review and I gave that a 10. I, I, I did, honestly, it's my, th I, I love it. It's my own personal, pre remember, the, the, these beer reviews are, are also my own personal preference and what I actually give the score. So you could give us something totally different. Totally different. You, you could give us a four if you wanted and I would I'd be like, okay. Okay. Well that's your that's your opinion. You like what you like guys and if you like your smoked beer you will like this. Um it's the only I think this is basically the most famous most popular smoked beer. I would think so anyway. Um, thank you, Germany. Thank you, Bamberg. Oh. Okay, I'm going to give that a... Do you know what? I'll give that a 10 out of 10 as well. I hope that's all right for me to say. I'll give that a 10 out of 10 as well. I will. The beer is just so unique, guys. 
and it's, it's an age old recipe, like it's a, a really old recipe. 1405 it says there, I mean, wow. If your beer is good, only time will tell. Well, come on. And an awesome looking bottle. Would I buy this in, in, a, in a pub slash club? Yes, I would. Because it, well, you're pretty sophisticated. You look like a fucking professor drinking this stuff, you know? <laughs> or something. This is like a. It looks like you get well established man's beer. Like a host. A, a, his, a historian's beer. That's exactly what it looks like a historian's beer. Very historic. Very nice. Um. Okay, I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10, guys. That's that. I, I am going to give it a 10 out of 10, and it's an A plus from Jordy's Beer Reviews. Would I buy this again? Well, duh. Um, okay. Ah, oh, that was good. I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. That was good. That was good. Okay, thank you for watching, guys. That was my review on Act Schlenker La Rochebeer Marzen. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Peace out, and I hope you have a good one. Bye.